Good afternoon, soldiers. This is Coach Bigham. Hey, let's talk about the ACFT and the trap bar 3RM test. Today, we're going to focus on the valgus collapse. The valgus collapse or knee caving. If you're doing this, you can guarantee an injury in the future and you definitely will not reach your max potential. As you notice from a frontal plane or a front on view, if you're in a concentric movement going up and the knees go in in the beginning or on the eccentric, the knees go down, either one of those is a problem. You're not activating the glute and you are not generating torque through the heel or cow canis to stabilize that load. It is essential that you correct this deficiency. Let's look at this again as we go up and we go back down with the deadlift. You'll notice with the red lines, you'll see the knees are going in. Uh, this is a snapshot of the bottom portion of the deadlift. The first exercise in this prescription to correct this deficiency is a basic goblet squat. Go into the descent, descent of the squat, come down to a bottom position, pause, and then push the knees out based on your range of motion. Do not give up that tripod. That's big toe, little toe, and heel. Allow that to stay active, engaged uh, on the surface. Again, go down to your range of motion, pause, and then push the knees out. We're trying to reprogram that movement uh, to force you to generate torque uh, through the femur and activate the glute med uh, to protect that low back. This next exercise will require a 12 inch band uh, that's essentially about 35 pounds of tensile strength. You'll put it about two inches below the kneecap. You'll come down to your parallel position, your comfortable position, pause, and then push the knees out. Again, sustaining that tripod with the foot and allowing the glute uh, need uh, to help stabilize the femur to push out. Again, under control, push against that resistance so we can develop a new motor pattern, you know, to allow us to activate those muscles to protect the low back and to generate a push through the floor as we're conducting the trap bar deadlift. The next exercise that I think is very critical and very important uh, to re-promote this activity uh, is going to be another 12-inch band glute bridge pushing the knees out. Uh, and again, you're going to essentially do a body weight glute bridge with this same uh, red band, uh, approximately 35 pounds of tensile strength. That's going to be two inches below the knee. You're going to maintain uh, the tripod with the foot. You're going to engage the glutes. Uh, you're going to post your hips up. Uh, that's going to allow them to be parallel. And then you're going to push the knees out. You'll really feel this in the upper glute or the glute med area. Uh, this stimuli is what you're going to really want to promote uh, to really protect the low back and really allow you to move a little bit more significant weight uh, through the push phase uh, of the trap bar deadlift. This will allow you to reach your potential uh, with success. Now it's time to put it all together. This last exercise is essentially uh, the banded uh, deadlifts. Uh, and again, it's going to be two inches below the patella. Uh, and you're going to really focus on pushing against that band uh, when you actually get ready to break the floor. Uh, and if you notice, you'll close the gap between that uh, and your forearms uh, to ensure that you're really generating torque through the heel, maintaining that active tripod on the floor. Uh, and that band will give you that proprioception or that feeling that will send a signal back to the brain to say, hey, I'm engaged. I'm on and I'm active and I'm protecting not only the back, but I'm allowing the hamstring, the glute 
to really drive as I break the floor.